So now it's time to work on the collapsing toolbar and add our code to it. But before that we start, I prefer to add a constant cl class to organize our color in it. So let me add a new file called colors.dart and I will copy a code that I've created before and paste it in here. And for sure we need to add the material dart. So to add a new color, you need to get to write it as we write it the icon before static color and give the color and hex number as I did in here. So now let's back to user info. Let's copy this code. Let's cut this code and I will save it in here. And I have already created the, the code for this collapsing toolbar, so I will just copy it and explain it for you in details. I will paste it in here. And let's copy again our code and paste it as a child for this in here. Great. So I got some errors. First of all, we need to add the controller for the custom scroll view. Let me just copy it from here. It I will add a var called top equal zero dot zero, and I will import the new class that I created, the color class called color consts and and I will save the application, I will restart the application now and show you how it looks okay so as you can see it's quite similar to the to the one in here so let me now explain the code for you so first of all we need to create a, a custom scroll view and give it a controller and we need to initialize it in here next we need to add the several up bars that it, it takes few parameters such as uh, elevation so once it we don't actually have enough uh, shrink the up bar so i will add first a uh, few more widgets let me save it so now if I scroll down as you can see it's the same as my previous project so you can change the expanded height for for it and you can change if you want it as pinned or no if I change this to false and save it you cannot see it anymore it will disappear but I prefer to keep it as true now we need this layout builder to keep listening to the top value we need this top value to get the height of this toolbar so so as you can see because of the top value is less than 110 it can appear let me change it to 200 for example and show you what will happen 200 save As you can see, this value appear so fast. So I'll just reverse it again. We'll need now the row to create this widget, this circular image, and this text view. The container, I give it a box shadow white. And I gave it a placeholder, this image. And I gave it a text of guest and styling color of white. This level toolbar also take an image as background, so I give it this image in here, and you can change the fit. I will change it to fill. Save again. Yeah, I think it's quite better now. In this, you need to add your child, your children's. So I add my child in here. 
the widgets that we created before as you can see and that's it in the next video we will work on to add the floating action button in here and hide it when the user is scrolling the application and we will also add some more padding for this text view